Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Today we're going to be linking uh, GLM, it's called uh, the Mathematics Library. Alright, so GLM. And this lets us do all these funny, you know, create all these vectors and stuff. You can make your own definitions, but this just makes it easy for us. We, it defines the matrix and all the matrix operations and all that stuff. And if you remember from the last video, I talked a little bit about the quickly just went through the translation, rotation, and the scale matrix, even the camera matrix or view matrix as we call it, all that stuff. Uh, and it just lets us create these. And uh, there was a specific way they're created, but GLM has them defined. And you just put in some variables and it creates it for you and it multiplies your points with them. So don't worry too much about that right now. We'll get into it later. I'm just telling you just briefly so you know about it. Um, the model matrix is basically the combination of these three or the world matrix or the model matrix whatever you want to call it it puts the whole object into world space so you can move it around at different positions and whatnot whatever it defines all those things defines the vector a three float vector a four float vector a 4x4 uh, matrix and some transformation functions and all that stuff so we're going to be using that now all you have to do is download it which I already did I just did and I opened it uh, but you're gonna get a nice little um, folder with a bunch of these thingies in them All right so just take that and uh, go ahead let me see where I put it I think I put it in desktop uh, GLM there it is all right but before I go on I'm just gonna tell you what the error was you don't have to care about this code right now we'll go through it later don't worry at all but what the problem was that before initializing glue, as you remember in the last video, I tried to print out I can't code if it actually uh, failed, and which means I really can't code because I forgot all this stuff. But whatever, uh, the problem was that you have to create an OpenGL context, a window for OpenGL to draw on and stuff like that with the options and everything before you initialize glue. So initializing the GLFW, the window handling, all that stuff, creating a window and then initializing glue is the way to go otherwise it's going to complain uh, that's because when glue tries to initialize here experimental means that it's you will want to use the modern OpenGL with all the new fancy things and the more flexible functions and all that stuff um, but uh, anyway when we try to do this and uh, we don't have a OpenGL context set with specific options this is going to fail so we want to do that first and the way we do that will be shown a few videos ahead when we start creating the window and the context and everything so don't worry about that but this is self-explanatory it just initializes the glfw system and all that stuff this initializes glue this is the error checker to see if the initialization was successful or not and then it's just going to destroy the window if it wasn't and print out an error so that's how simple it is this is the most important part this just tells it that we're ready to use the new stuff and this initializes glue uh, and checks it at the same time but anyway let's keep keep working here so what you want to do is just download this GLM library right here all right and let me see what else there is this is the source code you don't want that you just want to download this and once you downloaded that you can go ahead and read here by the way if you want like the manual and stuff here's a little example for the camera class and all that stuff uh, anywho once that's downloaded go ahead and do what we did go into your project folder which we created Go into linking and create a new folder, not a shortcut, dummy, uh, new folder called GLM. All right, it's the mathematics library. Uh, open the raw folder, raw folder that you got, and go into GLM, create a new folder called include. All right, and go ahead, go into the GLM, GLM, and just control A, all this stuff. And just put it into wait let me just just do this actually do that I just put it into include all right so that's the way you want to go now I have a bunch of stuff open let me just go in here and let me just check if that's the case yep that's the whole case that's everything uh, which I had in my other project but whatever I just want to check that this is correct I right, just do that and all you have to do then is there's no really library for GLM no lib folder so all you need is the includes you just include them no biggie uh, and to do that 
just right click on your tutorial my project again go into C++ general and just go ahead here oh no, I don't want to remove anything bruh I just wanna I just wanna go in here and I want to go into linking GLM and then the include folder alright just the include folder boom remember what we want to do is we want to do a solution there again there we go boom apply for all configurations now GLM is done it should be at least all we want to do is we just want to include uh, GLM.HPP want to include G let me see GLM all right uh, GL let's see what they are uh, uh, vec 2 we want to include the vec 2 we want to include vec 3 and vec 4 we want to include a mat 4 4 and you want to include let me just go ahead and and do this uh, what's it called it's called a trans let me see trans form what is it called uh, STC something let me see let me see let me just go ahead and cheat because we're gonna cheat GLM or GLM all right so here we go GLM GTC matrix transform so include GTC in this folder go down put the matrix transform HPP now we need one more thing oh whoops and that is this beautiful thing. Now, what is the problem here? Mat four. Mat four x four is what we want, I think. There we go. That's correct. Uh, now we want to include the uh, PTR. What's it called? Type PTR. There we go. Type PTR HPP. This is important to send stuff to our shaders, which we'll talk about later, uh, which is really really cool. So there we go, you just want to include all that stuff and then we're going to try to make a GLM vec3 uh, 0 0.8. So we're going to talk about all these later, that worked. Basically this takes, the way this works is just a, you want a vector and you want three floats. There is a vector 3f I think, no there is a 3 is just default floats. If you want integer you write 3i I think, vec Vec, uvec, oh ivec, yeah, it's the, the thing you write before it. So it's a unsigned integer vector with two var 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 bleh, what's it called variables, values. There is ivec as well, and for just regular integers, and then just vec three, which means a three float vector or a four float vector, or whatever. So uh, we'll go deeper into that later. But GLM works, everything's fine. We link that. Now next video is going to be a little bit more about the texture. Uh, Handlinks is OpenGL doesn't really have anything to load in a PNG file or an image into a character array. So basically, we're gonna uh, in include or, or link a library that helps us with that. So we're gonna be able to load a uh, image, a PNG or JPG or whatever you have, and we're gonna store it in a character array, which we'll be able to send. To the shader and we'll be able to attach that texture to our objects and all that stuff so we're going to be working with that uh, and and we're going to be linking that in the next video it's a little more complicated and it's basically the one of the main reasons why i split all these videos up so i have that in its own video as well and uh, and yeah so you're gonna it's gonna be a little better once that is done because then we can start coding uh, but as i said it's a little more complicated so prepare for that uh we're gonna have to download some stuff but don't worry too much, it's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. And I guess that's it for now. GLM works. Everything's almost done. And we'll soon be uh, starting to code. But thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.